Good morning and welcome to the Idea Ladies. My name is Carrie. I'm Janine. You know what's funny today? Is what? I'm usually on the other side. Oh. And I feel kind of weird. <laughs> Candace is with us this morning. Welcome. Uh, we are here every Friday live on Facebook at 9.30, hoping to help you create, try something new. Why is the funny face, Candace? It's all of a sudden was uh, re oh. Itself, oh. So. We have no internet to get on it. So if you were there, please say good morning. I am super excited because this whole month we are focusing on everything Annie Sloan. It is a beautiful spring day and chalk paint, Gorgeous. wall paint, satin paint, everything Annie Sloan can be used to refresh your home for spring. And today we have a special guest, a little bit. Special guest! He's missing, he's missing. <laughs> there was some plastic on the floor and it was just be crinkling the whole time. <laughs> this is literally what you would have the whole time. Okay, I, I was gonna say we had a pro painter, but um, it was bugging me. We do. Uh, welcome. This Hi. is Gabe. Gabe is from Rethink Homes, and he is our professional painter here today. And I've got a list of questions for for him. Uh, but first, Gabe, why don't you just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are? But keep it, you know. We have twenty minutes. There we go. The next twenty minutes. Uh, I have over 10 years of experience in the paint industry. I love paint. I'm obsessed with paint and coatings of all types, uh, spray finishes, everything from high level spray finishes down to just cutting and rolling faux finishes. And we're here to talk about Annie Sloan's wall paint. So I'm excited. Wow, that was yeah. perfect. He's very excited. <laughs> and how knowledgeable he is. Like I thought he was knowledgeable, but um, so I feel very, uh, thank you so much because yeah. we are very lucky that he is here today and he's gonna share some tips. I have asked him to share some tips on how we and you could easily update um, a feature wall or menu walls in your home for spring. So does that sound like a good idea? Yay. Do you have any friends with us today? Nobody. <laughs> okay, well you're gonna watch this later. Yeah, you'll watch it later. <laughs> Wasn't you pushing that button down there? No, I didn't push any. I didn't touch anything. All right. Does this apron make me look fat? <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, um, as we all know, Annie Sloan created chalk paint over 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, she recently came out with wall paint. And we think it's amazing. <laughs> right? Do. Yeah. Uh, she's got um, 33 colors, 34 colors. They're beautiful. Um, the, the paint has really high pigment, great coverage, um, a really great quality paint. We've both used it. It's super durable and scrubbable when it's up. Yes. I've brought you here, we have brought you here to, to maybe help us put it up properly, apply the paint properly. So are you ready for my questions? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I haven't looked at them and I will not look at them. Okay. So this is a very good question how much paint you need. People come in all the time and they say, I want to paint my bedroom, how much do I need? So, so you can measure the length and the width of your wall. If you've got four walls, multiply that by four. I would say just do it roughly. So even if you've got little jut-ins and jogs in your walls, say you've got four walls in a room, you got a wall that's... Like a tiny little wall yeah. and then a little bigger wall. Yeah. yeah, just measure your length and your width, okay. multiply that. And get your full square footage. Square footage. Yeah. So would you go now normally people have two coats on a wall. So would you take that number and times it by two? Uh, it depends on, on the product I'm using. Uh, so okay. different okay. different products will lay out differently and yeah. Mm hmm Do you think that but I would I would say the best thing to for rule of thumb is yeah. look at the TDS or look on the back of the can. What's TDS? TDS is technical data sheet, so you can find those online for most paint. It will tell you what it is, what how it covers, far it goes, what yeah, it covers. Yeah. And then it will tell okay. you on the front of the can how much is in here. So sometimes right. they'll say per liter or per gallon how much that coverage is. So yeah. Annie's paint for the um, gallon covers 387 square feet. Mm -hmm. So let's just throw you to the wolves. <laughs> it's a very Does that cover specific, into eight that's a very by specific by <laughs> number. Eight times ten times four. Okay, forget that. Bedroom. This would do a bedroom. Yeah? yeah. Okay. And it's true, because I bought two of these to do my room, and yeah. I only needed one. Yeah. yeah. And eight, an eight by ten, <laughs> you know, eight foot ceiling. Yeah. Would yeah. it matter, though, what color you're covering? Like, let's say yes. your wall is black, and you'd like it to be pale pink. You're going to use more paint? Yeah. 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 Would you suggest somebody prime first over the black before they got to the pink? It depends. Yeah. If they're going with a the pink, if it's a light pink, I might paint before, or yeah. I might prime. 
lock out the darker. Yeah. 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 But again, it depends. From what I've seen, how this covers, there's a very good chance you could get away with two coats of this, and you might not have to prime. Yeah. Out on the blacks, especially so on the darker colors. Blacks, I don't actually find blacks to be that hard to cover. The hardest ones to cover are going to be reds. Oh yeah. And yellows. Red. Uh, yeah. Reds yeah. and yellows, and then doing white over pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. Is yes. going to be a bit of an issue. Even white over white sometimes. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. But yeah. Our back wall was black, and we did white over. Yeah. It was. And we didn't prime. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one. Um, three coats. Yeah. yeah. Did, if like you're watching more. and you yeah. have used Annie's paint, we would love for your fe your feedback. So please type it in there. Even if you're watching it later, we we'll go back and read them. Yeah. Miss Lori Carter's on. Teresa's on. She says, "Good morning, soul sisters and brother." Ah! <laughs> now you're just part of the. See, family. he wanted a matching apron so he could be like one in the family here. I did. I felt left out. <laughs> Um, okay, so now the, I've, I'm home. I've measured. Give any tips on people picking like a color or finish depending on the room. Like let's let's use a bedroom for example. Would you suggest one color over another, or do you even get into that, or do you just let the customer? I do, I do, and, but it depends. It depends on how on how people are with it. Yeah. Darker colors will usually make the room feel smaller. Lighter colors will make it feel a bit bigger. You've obviously got your light reflection and how that impacts your room. At the end of the day, whatever you like. You're going to be yeah. the one living it. Like, Annie's is one finish. Mm -hmm. It is kind of a matte finish. Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. matte velvety finish. Matte mm -hmm. velvety finish. And it's very beautiful and rich. But I know in other brands of paint, you can get like a... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm always... I'm there like, what? The gloss. Yeah. Semi-gloss. Super yeah. gloss. Do me gloss. Yes. Do me gloss. Happy. <laughs> what are you making up? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I do know what um, you mean. So I feel that this paint and this... Including the bathroom. Yeah. So, um, a pop yeah, it's scrubbable and, wa and uh, washable, isn't it? I yes, think it that's is. Probably the most important part, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it it's quite durable. Yeah. What about? Can you recommend to the customer? So now they've measured their room, they've picked their color. Um, what about tools? Are you like you? You were telling us mm -hmm. about. Let's open up a can of Annie's paint, actually, let's for you. Here, let's let you open it. <laughs> I want. We want to see the full because Gabe's actually. So stay tuned because. Woo, yeah. Through the magic of TV. Okay. Here. You want to stir it so you can sure. see it? Now, we always tell people it's kind of like just really thick, expensive yogurt. Right. Uh, oh, it totally so is. It beautiful. feels beautiful, yeah. right? I mean, you can even see it on the lid here. It's just like mm -hmm. so, it's so good you want to eat it. Um, now. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Her paint is that it would go on beautifully with the brush because she does have yeah. an, a brush. It lends itself very well to that. <laughs> <laughs> We're a Vanna. Right. Um, <laughs> okay, would you use a white. brush or a roller? Um, what would you suggest to people? Like, yeah, that's the... you. You have brushed a wall. <laughs> yeah, it is very. Yeah. Good. Is it, do you eat it with a spoon or a fork? <laughs> you remember that commercial? A fork? I have. Do yeah. you like the finish? Like, I love the finish. Explain the, the difference for, for our viewers, the difference between the roller and the brush finish. So I would say one of the cool things is that in Europe you'll see brush finishes everywhere. Here you don't see a lot of them, so it is a much more unique thing to do. Mm -hmm. This paint lends itself very well because it has a nice texture and it has that velvety flat finish on it, and it covers really well. <clears throat> um, yeah. These brushes are specifically made to do that. This is similar to what we would use to do faux finishes or lime right. washes. Uh, when it comes to speed and cleanup, it really depends on the size of the room. Mm -hmm. So if you're going, I'm going to paint out a large room or a whole bedroom and I really want to move quick, it might be quicker to just do it with a roller. Right. Mm. But if you want that finish of a brush, yeah. I would go with a brush. If you have a feature so, wall or that little sure. spot above your yeah. TV or you want to do something really cool. Yeah. Um, I really liked, when we did that video, one of us rolled and one of us well, it just added so much um, it does character. character. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so now, so somebody's going to go home now with a gallon of paint, a roller, and a brush so that you can determine which one you like. Now, should they paint in the daylight? Dark? Does it matter? <laughs> should you turn the lights out? All Do the lights add, out. Well, no, like sometimes. Turn the power off. You guys! Yeah. You get home at the end of the day, it's getting dark. Yeah. But this yeah, is the only time I have to paint. Do I put a big light in the I room? I would wait till a power outage. <laughs> Yeah. So light has something yes. to do with it. I think it's what he's... I would definitely I'm trying to pull it out of Yeah, yes. Natural would, light is best. 
correct? I would, uh, well, I, I suppose natural light is best. Yes. We, we usually set up and use lights in the room. Oh, do you? Yeah, and we set up raking light, which is a light that is going against the wall. So if you have a light that's just shining at you like this, yeah. the wall is going to look one way. If you put that on the side, you're going to see every little bump and inconsistency or mm. deficiency. So really smooth, that's what we always do is we put a light on the side. You can see everything very quickly and easily. Yeah. You fill it, you prep it, you sand it. Well, and, and you were such on. a perfectionist. I'd be like painting over those bumps. Like, I'm going to get her done. And he's like, ooh, perfect. But that's a really good tool. Mm -hmm. I did not know this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions for Gabe and you're watching, please type them in and uh, Candace will read them out to us. Um, so, okay, so now my walls. Uh, any other prep for my, let's say, uh, do I wash the wall? Should I? Does it matter if you wash the wall? It depends. Most jobs I'm not washing the wall. When people have kids in stairwells, I wash the wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say anywhere where there's lots of handprints, fingerprints, cooking is another thing. Uh, in the kitchen, I've yeah. seen stuff. Uh, bathrooms are another one that sometimes Because the dust sticks to all yeah. that steam yeah. and it sticks to your wall. And sometimes totally. if you just wash the wall, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> right? Totally. Yeah. It's, it's true. And, well, and that's the, the other thing is is in bathrooms, I've seen where hair products have got all ah. over the walls. So oh, you'll start painting and the hair very spray. bizarre things. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So any of mm. those areas, I would wash the walls. Other than that, we pole sand everything down. Pole sanding oh, does yeah. a couple, yeah. There's a lot of people that say, oh yeah, you do that to make the wall smooth. There's a difference between true and smooth. True is when your wall is perfectly smooth, just means you've got rid of all the bumps yeah. and inconsistencies. When you're sanding, you're not really taking care of either of those things. What you're actually doing is creating a mechanical bond. Ah, right. So this paint, I believe, That's because we of its high about. talc content, yeah. doesn't have to be sanded, but you're gonna have a better, longer lasting finish if you sand that way. I've, I've never even yeah. thought of that. Okay, so now I've done it. Now yeah. do I wipe all the, dirt, the dust away, Absolutely. right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And I would go, every, do everything in, in like an order. So when you're wiping, don't wipe it like this. Right. You're, getting, you're just moving the dust yeah. around, right? Go on, wipe it all down. I would down. just take a broom. Yeah. Totally, yeah. Or you your shop that. back. Yep. Yeah, you can totally do that. Yeah. Wipe it down with a damp cloth afterwards to yeah. get any kind of small dust that's stuck to the wall. So do you tape? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Tape or it no all, tape? That depends. is the question. People, it all do depends. you tape? It all depends. It depends. It all depends, yeah. You're never going to get a line that is as tight as a tape line. Steady. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But you, but you should be able to cut in by hand. There's lots of jobs where we cut in by hand. That's still yeah. a, absolutely a skill. Yeah. Uh, if you're doing a textured ceiling, it's going to be really hard to tape that. I'm actually so. really good. At, maybe I could come to your job one day because I've got a pretty steady hand. I'll show you. <laughs> maybe it. I could show you a few things. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, here's a brand question. What kind of tape do you use? Green, Depends. blue? We uh, use. Frog we tape. exclusively use frog, and we use the yellow delicate surface on pretty uh, much everything, uh, so that you're not pulling up any previous mm -hmm. finishes. We use the blue frog tape on floors and any kind of surfaces or substrates that are like say granite or tile or quartz or mm. something like this. Or if you've got like a wood finish or cabinet finish that we might use that on there. Do you tape? Um, sometimes, mostly because I'm like, not even use a brush, just yeah. roller. Yeah. I don't want to hit my floor. Yeah. yeah. Well, and there's a couple things yeah. too. So uh, when you're like on baseboards, we pretty much tape all baseboards off now. And there's a lot of people that go, oh, you can't cut that in? No, there's lots of jobs where I can cut that in. But the reason I will tape it is because you've got this much of a space on the top of your baseboard. And now yeah. if you're going and rolling, you might not see it, but you're going to get little flicks of paint all over ah. the top of the baseboard. And now it's going to collect more dust. And it's going to roll. That's not well, true. <laughs> That's not true. I think it might a little bit. Yeah. So what does cutting in mean? You said cutting in. So so now, okay, let's say my customer's home. Here? She's got her... Uh, do we have a brush? <laughs> do you have a brush? I've never used a brush. Uh, like oh, hi. Yeah, this is perfect. Hi, Auntie Helen. I love this. <laughs> hi, everyone. Okay. Hi, Uncle Clarence. Okay. Can you cut in with that? Because it's a cutting... Do have something I can paint on? You're asking. It's a, can a canvas thingy right there. Okay. Yeah. I'm um, right on mine. Here we go. Can you use this? Uh, <laughs> or we can open a little can. Yeah, there's a little This is fine no, to use. No, don't open that. Huh? This is fine to use. Is this okay? Yeah. No, but I wanted to talk about the brush because yeah. if I talk were cutting in. Talk about the brush, in, yeah, for sure. I would be yeah. cutting in with an angled <laughs> brush. Am I? An angle sash, yeah. Yes, okay. So this is two other things that are going to be unique between uh, Europe 
and Canada. I love using a flat tack across the top. Yeah. The difficulty with this is getting into corners. Mm -hmm. So if you're cutting in onto a little corner here, it becomes really, look at how when you splay this out, there's no tight, yeah. sharp edge. Whereas yeah. this one, you've got yeah, a much yeah, tighter so edge. So you can get right into that corner. Even like this, look at how tight that corner is. Yeah. yeah. Right? So you can get right we in there. We want tight corners, guys. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so cutting in. So, so cutting in, you're going to be going, and let's say you're cutting. I see a lot of people that will cut like this. You don't have as much control. So you're going to dip your brush, mm -hmm. tap it, never scrape it. Really? Yeah. Mm. I never work out of the can that the paint is in. Okay. So we'll mix it up. We mechanically mix it. We'll pour it into a cut can. We'll pour about this much in. So you got about an inch or so. Mm -hmm. So it's only going to come up to about here on the brush. Right. Because yeah. you don't, if you get the paint all up in your ferrule, it drips yeah. down. I'm sure you've had it's this experience with the can. Yes. <laughs> no. Never. No, never. I, I, I did. I've I'll almost cried it. when that's happened. Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> we always know when someone's done it on site because we'll hear, damn it. So. You're going to do that, you're going to tap it, and you'll have a, just enough paint on your brush. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to take, because you've got so much on there, you don't want to go like this and start cutting right away. Yeah. Because if you start doing that, right. you're you get out paint. Thick. Yeah. yeah. So you kind of brush it off first. So I always would yeah. brush it off onto that area. And I then do you're going to. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. It's good. Okay. Well. You know what you're doing. <laughs> well. She's just maybe I'll learn herself. something I didn't already know. So then you're going to take what you have there and you're going to angle it down like this and you're just going to come right tight along that and that's yeah. how you're going to get that tight line. Same thing for a ceiling. Okay, so here's a good question. I don't, how are we doing on time? Because I have so many questions. 948. Okay, so cutting in, would you cut around the whole wall first and then roll it in? Or would you just cut along the top and then paint down? Would you do... We'll cut everything in and then roll everything out. And, I'll, and, I'll, and right. I usually do, for the most part, we always try to go back and forth between the two. So cut, roll everything out if we're doing two coats, and then cut second time, and then roll, roll everything out okay. the second time. As opposed right. to a good question. cut two I'm sure things. people yeah. are wondering. There are right? some paints, yeah. I will say, there are some paints, I've never used this paint, so I don't know, but there are some paints of which you don't want to cut first and you want to roll first. Oh. But nobody wants to. Oh. Yes, Candace? Sorry, Lori's like, I love how Lori Carter, she's like, I love how the store stick is still standing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how thick it is, yeah. Um, okay, so here's another, I think these are such good questions. So now I've cut in and I want to roll. Mm -hmm. Am I rolling, like I remember when my dad yes. taught me to paint, it was a W. Mm -hmm. Am I thing. still doing that? That's not a thing. Am I going? Really? Yeah. <gasps> That's not a thing. That's a DIYer. So let me... <laughs> Sorry, so Dad. Got... Do you have a roller cage here? Um, I don't know. A tiny one. A tiny one. Okay, give me a tiny one. Okay. This would be better yeah. than drawing something out. Okay. Okay. That's tiny. That works. Tiny. This works. Okay. Okay, so, because this is the basic construction of all roller cages. Mm -hmm. You're always going to be moving in the direction of your arm. So you would never be going this way. Oh. Okay? Oh. You'll always be going this way. Make sense? Or if you're, you know, you could be going <laughs> right to the left. Always want, because you're going to have the most weight on this side. Okay. And the least weight on this side. So that's how you're going to avoid having people call them all types of different names, but lines yes, those when lines. you go. Oh my goodness. Uh, so you're gonna, you are yeah. worth your money right there, people. Do you hear that? Yeah. Okay. So, and okay. I, I always go up, again. down. I'll go up, come down. I'll usually do about two lengths, depending on, it's just a standard, let's say it's just a standard eight, eight foot. foot. And then I'll come and I'll dip it again and I'll do my next one. And I'll roll out that first one Overlap. On, on, I won't overlap right oh, you're away. Not I'll overlap. first do it oh, on a new yeah. spot and then I'll and come then back and go overlap. back. So you don't have yeah. the thickness <clears throat> yeah. and then. Uh, that way you're constantly see? moving your paint out. So you yeah. then kind of keep moving in almost three three quadrants of it as you go because you'll do two new ones and then come back and go into it. All this information Gabe is sharing with us for you guys, it's going. Um, Here's another thing for rolling. Yeah. Always finish rolling the same way. So uh, finish, finish all, like all of them up or all of them down. So interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's going to give it's you so a better true. finish. We say that with chalk paint too, it's like true. painting fabric. Totally. Paint, paint it all yeah. in one direction at the end. Um, and I didn't know that. I don't know. I've never done that for my wall. I don't know. I've never. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Colleen Mark says, oops, I'm late. I was watching Candace on IOD. Ah, ah, I'm a fan. <laughs> She's watching both of our lives. <laughs> Um, okay, so now the wall is amazing and I'm going to clean up. Can you give us any tips on how to clean your roller and brush? Before we get there, yes. one question. Gabe, do you use a pole on your roller? Always. Always. Unless it's like too small and you can't get in, but always. 
I would recommend getting the Wooster ones with the Sherlock because they're the easiest ones to clip in, and they just go and then they fit with. So all just of them. tell me, Kate. So are you being? There's, are a, lot you of, there's a lot of arm like arm this. movement. It's the arm, arm movement. Okay, yeah. just you know. Yeah. I'm wondering. I, I I had a job one time where a lady said to me, she came in and she said, I have a question. I said, sure. She goes, how do you how do you get up high? Because my arm, she said, your arms must be exhausted after rolling. I said, why? She goes, I had to get my ladder out. And I was like ah. rolling the top. And I, and I thought, no, you should well, be doing singular passes with a pole. But you do need the ladder for going the pole. Every, shocked, I'm going to yeah. go get a... A pole. Yeah. Yeah. I'll hook you up. I'll hook you yeah. up. I'll get you a deal. I could just undo my broom That's and I, I have put it on. This. No. I would never do that. <laughs> okay. The ones that we use we will, extend really we quickly. We will put the what Gabe is recommending in the comments below. So um, if you are excited to refresh your room and you want to use some of the great information that he's sharing, uh, you can just go and read. Okay. So cleanup tips. Yeah. It's all water cleanup. This is all waterborne. So How, what are you doing? Are you cleanup. are you cleaning your brush like this under a tap? Are so, you so yeah, so a couple of, couple of things. So mm -hmm. this brush is obviously a few years old. I have brushes that are 10 years old that look brand spanking new. Really? This looks this is pretty good. You've still got a lot of movement in this brush. Bit of dust. Yeah. Um, so what you're going to do is you, you don't want to be putting it in like this. You want to hold this under the water like this because you're going to be getting more paint into the ferrule like that, and it's just going to be hard on the ah, okay. So you want to try, and again, mm -hmm. I just had this the other day where I was talking to a friend about this, about brush cleaning, where I had been using a brush all day and paint had gone up into the ferrule. You always want to try and wash it this way. So you're running the water down this way, mm. always cleaning with the bristles. Mm. Um, I would use even like a, you can get like nylon scrub brushes, mm -hmm. and you can use one of those. You can get any automotive store that has them. That does make such a good and thing. And yeah. You, many hours and Get there's dried there. bits on there so you want to just carefully go the other thing that I do is I use uh, the sunlight bars of soap laundry oh. detergent soap or Murphy's oil soap well um, we sell lye soap I guess yeah, you yeah do. that would work yeah, too. That works totally. too. So yeah, you want to get it okay. in there when you once you clean everything out and it looks pretty clean, you're still gonna have paint in there. And so what you can do is go like this with it mm -hmm. or go like this. Mm -hmm. Don't don't jam it into the ground like you wanna Go like this with it. <clears throat> Make mm. sense? I love that I'm learning something new here. So you're gonna do that. Yeah, you're gonna get. Yeah. You're gonna get the soap on there. You're gonna kind of work it in. Yeah. By going like this. Yeah. Work it into those bristles. Kind of push it back in there so that the soap goes in and it's gonna pull out any kind of paint yeah. that you have in there. Yeah. Because that's what's gonna prevent this stuff from happening. What about the roller? Roller, you're gonna do the exact same thing. If it's a foam roller, you're just gonna keep putting water in there, squeezing, squeezing it out. It Rollers, you don't want to be too aggressive with because they can peel apart yeah. if you're aggressive. If it's a flock roller or a microfiber uh, roller, yeah. you're just gonna do the same kind of thing. And if it's a large roller and you have a five-in-one, that's one of those little tools that's like a scraper. Yeah, yeah, it's got the scraper. Yeah, you can use that to scrape off all yeah. all your paint. Yeah. You're gonna I also want to scrape that paint off your roller back into here because you're gonna sometimes have Ooh. half a quart left of paint. That is and that's, true. And I that's, think I do. Um, a roller absorbs so much It does. So it totally paint does. Yeah. And you don't want to waste it. It's amazing paint. Yeah. It, right? Yeah. 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 Do you ever Did you put hear the that? roller that's in the amazing. fridge? <laughs> <laughs> she looked afraid to ask you. I just had an aneurysm. Roller in the bridge. <laughs> I just had an aneurysm. I left it in there for like a week and then come back. It's fine. <laughs> no, do not do that. I don't know I'm what to kidding. say. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> yeah. To answer, to answer, you yeah, to, out, to answer your, your question, there are there are times where I where I will just wrap it up in plastic. Yeah. And and just leave. And it come back. back. Yeah. If wow. it's airtight, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think we have all learned something here today, more than one thing, and I know totally. that she's been doing something wrong. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. yeah. I would love um, to come to sh how you do it, yeah. and maybe do a few. If you guys are interested, we'll just do a few little videos on the things that we talked totally. about, so people can see it visually, and then we'll just share it. Would are we that gonna be brush it? okay? Are we going to brush it? We could. I would love to brush it. Well, you know what? I'm going to. You have a customer. Um, you have many customers. Yeah. Um, and Do you want to show t the, the oh, samples? Because yeah. these are gorgeous colors. Yeah, so one of your clients is going to be deciding between yeah. these two colors. Mm -hmm. um, using yeah. Annie Sloan paint. And then we'll get Gabe's 100% feedback of rate using it for the first time. Yeah. Um, we can How edit it, it, right? Just kidding. <laughs> um, 
thank you so much for coming today thank you for having and me. showing us all this information and sharing information. I'm excited to go home and paint a wall um, or many walls. It's just my I husband know. goes out of town. Right? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to tell a quick story. I know we're so short on time. <laughs> but the other day I was flipping. I'm just going to quickly paint my fireplace before my husband gets up. And I'm like, no, no. My husband's got out of town. I'm going to paint the fireplace for when he gets back. And I, I laughed. I said, you were my sister because I painted my fireplace while my husband was in bed. So when he came downstairs, he's like, what happened? <laughs> but that is how incredible Annie's products are. You can just get to work and get it done. So what, tell us about the discounts we have. Okay, right so for, if you want to paint your fireplace overnight, um, chalk paint right now, till Saturday, well, in the store till Saturday is 20% yeah. off. Online, we'll adjust it till Monday evening. Um, but next week, you're going to want to watch your newsletter on Tuesday morning because we may have a discount coming. Discount. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't get the newsletter, you can sign up in store on our website, scroll to the bottom of the first page where the little typewriter is and sign up. Or if you know of somebody who wants to paint um, or invite a friend over to paint, um, share the newsletter with them. Share, um, share, share this video. Share. Oh, that yeah. So yeah, that's we, what we're going to do. We may have a paint party coming up your way. Um, you're going to want to read the newsletter for the contest coming as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there a giveaway? <laughs> There's going to be. Gonna be a oh giveaway. There's going to be a giveaway. I'm yeah. excited. Can I enter? Uh, no, but you can be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> you might be there. <laughs> you might be there. Uh, so make sure that you're following along on social media. Get our newsletter so you're going to find about find out what the contest is. <laughs> and we have a birthday uh, yes. birthday party coming yes. up soon. So make sure you RSVP. All the information is on our social media. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Gabe. Thank and you. Uh, let's get painting, people. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Annie. Bye. Bye.